All right. So, guys, lesson B, homework features. Number one, what is it? Read the clues and write the features. Okay. Okay, let's everybody check. Okay, now, uh, there are 12 sentences, okay? There are 12 sentences, and I need you to get this started with the homework, okay? So, uh, Diana, read the first six, okay? And... Uh, the first... Yeah, the first six, exercise A, number one to number six, and a Marquito, okay. a Marquito from number seven to number 12, okay? Come on. Okay. Number one, this can make a person seem strange, racist. Okay. Mm. He's grown on a man's cheek. Bird. A bird. A bird. And these are teeny breaks close to a person's head. Breaks? Um, uh, there are tiny breaks. Uh, no. In number three, it says there are tiny brains close to a person's head. Okay, check your vocabulary. Uh, okay. About? Uh, no. Okay, you know that there, there are a, a, there are tiny braids. Braids. It's a for example. A, look at look at the picture here. Look here in the picture. Okay, these are the braids. For example, look. Okay, but here, like here in the head, there are some lines. There are some lines over there. So what is the answer? Uh, one. Exactly, corn rows. Exactly, yes, thank you. Continue, please. Um, okay. If people were pleased to fail, then see better classes. Okay, thank you. This has tiny holes for wearing jewelry. Uh, long fin finger lines? Uh, no. Remember, though, this uh, uh, there are tiny holes in the ear, remember. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. It's Here's ears. Excellent, very good. Number six. And people who do waiting train usually get his way. Muscular. Exactly, very good. Muscular. Excellent. Okay. okay. Now, Marquito from number eight. So number 12, come on. Okay. This broke under a, ma a man's nose, ma my touch. This is what we call people with a safe, safe head, head and ball. Uh, what, what, uh, what are you? Uh, Marquito, it's number uh, number seven. Can you repeat number seven, please? Uh, seven. Yes, from number seven to number twelve. This a uh, little wrong spot on a person person face or body. Frequently. Okay, 
Freckles. Freckles. Excellent. Continue. This and um, row under a, ma a man's nose. Mustache. 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 Okay. Okay. Continue. This is uh, what sell call people with a safe safe head and uh, bald. Mm -hmm. Exactly. A shave. Head. A shape. Head. Head. Okay. Some some women think this make their hands look pretty, and they sometimes paint them red. Fingers nails. Okay. Thank you. People with long hair often wear it in one of these to pick to kick their hair out of the way. Ponytail. Yes, that's a ponytail. Very good. <laughs> Young people sometimes like this style where the hair is short and stand up. Speak hair. Spike. A spike. Up. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Marquito. Okay. Now, um, over there we have uh, six questions uh, that you have to answer with your own ideas and information, right? It's personal information. Okay, now Andrea, now, now that we are with you in the microphone, okay, can you, uh, can you read please, number one? Men should have a beautiful ear. No, I don't. I don't think men should wear jewelry. I think, or it, I think it's okay. Men wear rings and bracelets, so it's good to wear earrings too. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh. You have to write, uh, answer with your personal idea. Thank you. Okay. Now again, again, um, uh, Andrea, number two. Who did you know with freckles when you were young? When I was 10 years old, I met a neighbor. His name was Judith. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Number three, did you ever wear braces on your teeth? No, I didn't. I, I have never wore braces. Okay. Yes, excellent. Now, Andrea, would you like to wear braces? Mm, that's, no. that's, that's a personal question. Would you like to wear a, wear braces? Uh, no. No? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Why, Andrea? Why? Uh, I don't know. Maybe now I don't need it. Okay, excellent. Good, good answer. Very good. Okay, thank you. Now, all right, thank you guys. Now, um, let's go back to a uh, uh, party. Let's go back to party. Come on. Uh, uh, party. Hi. Hello. Uh, okay. Now let what? me ask you. Let me ask you the other, Hello. the other three questions. Okay. Uh, number four, five, and six. Patty, which is better, being muscular or being thin? <laughs> <Why? laughs> uh, uh, I think losing weight is easier because you don't have a strict diet. Mm -hmm. A strict diet, okay, all right, excellent. Yes. You don't have a strict diet. All right, yes. uh, uh, okay, Marcos. Marcos, what about, what about you? What's your opinion in number four? Which is better, being muscular or being thin? Why? 
I think it is healthier to be thin than to be heavy. Okay. All right. I think, okay. I think it is healthier to be thin than to be heavy. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Now, Patty, what are your two favorite ways? Your two favorite ways to wear long hair? Uh, ways. My favorite ways is. Um, ponytail. A ponytail. Excellent. Very good. Yes. yes and where's braids two braids <laughs> and braids okay excellent that's good Amber good. Braids. yes yeah now um now uh Patty, who do you know with a shaved head shape yeah who do you know with a shaved um, head? um no Mm, I don't know. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, Marco, do you who do you know with a shaved head? I have a friend who is old. His name is Arturo. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Very good. All right. Excellent guys. Now, okay, let's go back to the uh, let's go to the next page. Okay. And it says number two, which one? Okay, look at the picture and write a sentence about each student using the given word and one other descriptive phrase. Okay, so we have different people here in the classroom. Okay, and let's everybody uh, use the word that is in parentheses and also to look at the person okay and look at the person and and use a descriptive phrase okay remember that that like the ones we have been practicing okay yesterday we practiced a lot of words okay so uh okay come on uh david can you read please number one number two yeah Which one is Lisa? Lisa is the one in the black jeans checking her grades. Checking her? Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, number two. Which one is Julio? Julio is, is the one standing behind Luigi. Okay, exactly. Very good. Yes, continue, please. Number three, which one is Mei Ling? Mei Ling is the one listening music. Is the one uh, listening music, Mei Ling? Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, do you see any other characteristic in Mei Ling, uh, David? Yeah, I, 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 I see that he's, um, for example, she has something in her eyes. What is it? She's wearing glasses. Exactly. Glasses. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also she's wearing a sweater. What color? She's wearing a white sweater. Exactly, very good. Listening to music, very good. Excellent, a white sweater. Good, thank you. Okay, um, okay. Now let's let's continue. Uh, Diana, number number uh, number four, please. Come on, number four and number five. Number four, number four. Uh -huh, number four. Who is Luigi? Mm 
Which is, is the one writing But how do you say atrás? I'm sorry, can you, uh, can you repeat, please? I didn't listen. How do you say atrás? At the back. Atrás de. Uh, mm -hmm. Or, uh, or, or, you, or you, can say, you can say behind. Oh, okay. Okay. Luigi is the one writing behind who mainly. Hi, Maylin. Okay, excellent, very good. Do you see any other characteristic, uh, Diana? For example, look at his hair. Um, what, type of, what type of hair? Uh, he, he got spike, spiked hair. Exactly, A spiked hair. Okay, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, a spike hair writing on a piece of paper. For example, you can say something like this. Look, everybody, listen. Luigi is the one with a spike hair writing on a piece of paper. Okay? Or Luigi okay. is wearing a black leather jacket. Okay? Writing on a piece of paper. Okay? Yes? You can say first the, the description of the person and then and then the action. Is he standing? Is he writing? Is he listening to music? What is he doing? Okay? Yes? Okay. Okay. Now, uh -huh. okay, Diana, continue with number five. Okay. What about what about what about Evie? Which one is she? Evie is the one. Sitting, sitting on the chair, and and she wears, uh, she wears her head in in cold room. Uh, uh -huh. in cornrows, yes. Yes. Okay, yes, it is, um, yeah, first, for example, you can say Evie is good, is the one with cornrows sitting, sitting at her desk, okay? And what, what, is, what is she doing? What is she doing, Diana? What is, what is Evie doing? She, she listens to music. She's listening, okay? Now, can you please now tell me the complete sentence using the cornrows, uh, the, the position, and the action? Evie is the one with cornrows. Uh -huh. Sitting. 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 On the chair at her desk. Wait. Sitting on the chair and listen to music. Listening. And listening to music. Excellent. Very good. So that's, okay. that's a very good answer. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Okay. Now, uh, let's continue with number seven and number eight. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Marcos. Okay. Can you please do number seven? Uh, number seven. Okay. Which one uh, is Anna? Anna is the one with Ray talking with Karen. Okay. Anna is the one. Anna is the one with Ray talking with Karen. Okay. Excellent. 
For example, you, what, other, what other characteristic do you see in Anna? Is she, is she, is she uh, short? Uh, Anna is the one uh, in uh, black pants. In black okay. pants. Black pants. Okay. Excellent. Um, okay. Remember, guys, remember that um, in Unit 7, we talk about one and once. Remember? Okay. So you, you can say Anna is the tall one. You can say, okay, is the tall one and then add another description, Marcos. For example, Anna is the tall one and okay is it tall one okay okay anna is the tall one where's right talking with no <laughs> yeah, you're, you're okay. i don't yes, know okay. anna is the tall one with for example where's look, right okay. look, look at look look at his hair what what color is his hair Is, is his uh, hair blonde? Is that, is that black? Blonde, exactly. Blonde. So Anna is the tall one with with uh, blonde hair. Okay. Uh, and then with, uh, uh, okay. Talking with Karen. Talking to. Remember, talking. Uh, talking to. to Karen. Talking okay. to Karen. Excellent. Now, can you repeat, please, again? Number seven. Anna is? Anna is the tall one with talking to Karen. With, and the hair, with? Uh, uh, with, uh, where's, uh, no, with, uh, uh, with, Uh, with blonde hair. Uh, with blonde hair. Oh, oh, has has blonde hair. Has blonde hair is right. Is huh? uh, is the tall one? No, but with has no is no. the tall one with. Okay, with blonde hair. Uh, uh, with blonde hair, talking to Karen. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Patty, come on. No, uh, the last one, please. Number eight. Number eight. Is Kasu here? Who is she? Who is he? Ah, okay. Um, Kasu is the one in dark hair uh -huh. and long and he's reading a book on dark uh -huh. I don't know with, with long hair yes dark hair uh, with dark hair uh -huh. and the action what is action reading okay excellent. reading Read. book reading reading, reading book Yes, really. Yes. Okay, good job. Thank you. Okay, yeah. guys, excellent. So, guys, remember that. Um, okay, look, I'm I'm gonna use uh, the whiteboard here. Okay. Pay attention, please, here to the board, everybody. Um, here. Okay. Now, for example, look. Um. For example, a, uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use one example of the of the book. May Lee, okay, is right. Uh, is the one with. Yes, you can say mainly is the one with, for example, I don't know, a spike hair, okay? 
mainly you can say you can say also in okay yes mailin is the one in glasses for example okay yes for example mailing is the one in in glasses for example i i can say i can say um, glasses okay and then the action reading a book for example okay this is an example right reading a book okay so i can say with i can say in okay and for example guys uh look you can you you, you can use these sentences okay in order first to describe the people and then give the give the uh, the, the location or the action okay for example when it's a location is the one standing is the one sitting okay yes or the action is the one reading okay yes so so uh, you guys can use this with or in to talk to describe okay to describe the, the the person so with in and then the verb with the ing okay all right so guys uh, uh, let me check here i want to change the color So you might want to say in or with or in, okay? And then the verb in ing, okay? The action. All right, guys. Good. Now let's go back. Uh, well, any questions before we we move on? Any questions? It's okay, everybody. Yes, okay, good job, excellent, very good. Okay, now let's go back to the student book, okay? Okay guys, in the student book, we are now on lesson C. What's his name, okay? What's his name? Lesson C. Okay. Good. Okay, now listen up, everybody. Okay. Guys, imagine that you are talking to a friend. Okay, look at the situation. Okay, guys, look at the situation. You are talking to a friend, right? You are having a conversation, really, you know, nicely in, in the park. I don't know. Uh, um, at school maybe okay all right somewhere else yes and then in the in the middle of the conversation or during the conversation you forget the name of the person or thing that that you are that you are talking about okay you forget you forget the name of the person or thing that you are talking about what do you say guys what do you say when you when you uh, forget, forget this thing. Can you can you write in the chat, please? Come on. I, I want to listen to your. I wanna I wanna see your opinions in the chat. Come on. You are having a conversation and then you forget. What what do, what ex expressions or phrases do you use? Okay. Come on. For example, look at look at the title of the lesson C. What's his name? Okay. Ah, yo no había puesto. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> you can write another one. Come on. Because maybe you, are, you you talk about you talk about friends. You talk about uh, an activity that happened to you. Okay. Yes. You talk about things. Ay, no puede ser. No, no Spanish. 
I can't. I can't believe. <laughs> no, you can't delete it. <laughs> okay. Patty says, what do you call? Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Uh, Diana is typing. Diana says, what do you call it? Okay, excellent, very good. All right. So, all right, thank you guys. Yes, what do you call it? What do you call? What do you call that? Okay, excellent. Um, okay, now listen up. Uh, I want you to pay attention to letter A. Look at exercise A, everybody here. Okay, come on. In exercise A, we have an instruction and it says, these people are trying to remember something. Can you match the questions with the responses? Okay, so come on. We have the three sentences and we have the three options here, A, B, or C. Okay, come on, let's read and match. All right. Now, uh, Diana, can you read please number one? Come on. Okay. My teacher was told the teeny breaks. What do you call them? Exactly. Okay. Now look at the pronunciation, guys. Tiny. 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 Okay. Tiny. Tiny. Excellent. Very Tiny. good. Yes. Patty, Tiny. Number two. Come on. Okay. I saw the British soccer star at a coffee today. Uh, what's his name? Uh, a sweet band? Ah, no, it's the David Beckham. Beckham. Yeah, they, yeah, David Beckham. Very good. Yes. Remember pronunciation. I saw. Okay. I saw. I saw. Excellent. I saw. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Marquito, number three. Okay. For tennis, do you wear? Uh, what do you do? What do you call it around your head? The uh, a sweat band. Excellent, a sweat band. Very good. Okay. Yes. Excellent. So, guys, this is how you how you try to uh, you you try to go back to the conversation. Okay, because sometimes when we are in, in a conversation, guys we sometimes tend to forget forget the things that we're talking about for example look at number one my teacher wears those tiny braids and then you're like what 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 do you call them okay so you you, you don't know you don't know the uh, the word so it, so you use expressions in order in order to help you okay yes so the other person can help you but you have to say a phrase, a question. For example, in this case, what do you call them, All right? So that's the point of uh, our lesson C, trying to remember words, okay? Now, listen up, everybody. Here, we have a conversation between Lori and, and Jing Hu, okay? And look, they are talking, they are talking, they are, they are at the park, okay? They're not alone, there's someone uh, uh, like next to them, right? Now, it says, listen, what does Lori tell Jing Ho about their old classmates, okay? So, okay, listen everybody, okay?
okay? And follow the conversation, okay? Here we go. Page 112. Page 112. Lesson C. Lesson C. What's his name? What's his name? One. One. Conversation, Conversation strategy. strategy. Trying to remember, Trying to remember words. words. A. Now listen. What does Lori what tell Jin Ho about their old classmate? Do you remember that cool guy in our class last year? Oh, what's his name? You know... He always wore those baggy pants with all the pockets. What do you call them? You mean cargo pants. Yeah. And he had long hair and a funny little beard. What do you call that? Do you mean a goatee? Oh, I know. You mean Max. That's right, Max. Well, don't look now, but he's sitting right behind you. And he's wearing a suit and tie and everything. A suit and tie? <laughs> no way. Yeah, and he's got short hair. He looks different. All right, guys. So, the question is, what does Lori tell Jin Ho about their old classmate? Okay, please, can you write in the chat? Come on. What does Lori tell Jin Ho about their old classmates? Okay, write information in the chat, come on. Okay, good job, guys. So, uh, what does Lori tell Jin Ho about their old classmate? Okay, so uh, David says, Do you remember that cool guy in our class last year? Uh, yes, I mean, they are talking about, about, about the guy, but what did they say about that guy? For example, Diana says, They are talking about the person behind and he looks different exactly yes okay yes because first at the beginning they mentioned that he has he has a he that he look that he dressed different okay now guys here we have two words for example we have cargo pants okay and we have a goatee yes they were describing the the, the person uh, uh, that he used to he used to wear like this for example pants like this right so uh, guys for example let, let me share with you for example a cargo pants what are cargo pants what type of pants are they okay so for example look at this okay these are cargo pants okay yes the ones that have backs here okay 
usually cargo pants have a lot of bags. Look, here it, it has one, two, three, four, okay? And then these ones, these ones, and the ones at the back, okay? Yes? So that's why in the book, in the book says, it says the what in the book says baggy pants. Baggy pants, it's a it's a reference word to to talk about cargo pants, okay? Yes. Now, what about goatee? Okay, what's a goatee? Yeah. Now, uh, here I'm gonna I'm going to show you a picture. Okay. All right. Look, this is a goatee. Yes. All right. This usually the people that have a goatee has a lot of you know hair in this area. Okay. Yes. All right. So. This is a goatee, guys. All right. So, and yes, as Diana, as Diana says, they're talking about the person behind, and that, and and that, and now he looks different. Okay. So, um, let's go back to the to the book. Okay. So, uh, guys, look at the notice. All right. Look at the notice. Notice how Lori uses expressions like this when she can remember a name or a word. Find examples in the conversation. And we have, what's his name or her name, okay? What do you call, what do you call it? Or what do you call them? What do you call that? What do you call those, okay? Now guys, listen up. Here in this in this question, what do you call it? You can say something in singular or you can say something in plural, okay? Now, in the third question, what do you call that? What do you call those? Okay? Yes. Singular and plural. Okay? Yes. What do you call that and what do you call those okay yeah so we have the s for singular okay which is uh, which is here okay all right and then we have the p for plural okay so Basically, guys, when you when you talk about uh, when when you're talking, okay, and when you forget something, it's usually singular or plural, okay. So, in this case, we have this, all right, singular and plural. Here we go. I'm gonna change the color. Here, check. Okay. All right. Now, look at the examples in the conversation, guys. Okay, look at the conversation. Can you find these phrases in the conversation? Okay. Um, David, can you please tell me the phrases that you see in the conversation? Come on. Uh, open your microphone, David. Yes. About the conversation, he always wore those baggy pants. Lori could uh, ask, uh, what do you call them? Okay, exactly. In, in the conversation, uh, exactly, what do you call them? What is the other? What do you call those? The other way. Ah, okay, yes, that, that's, that's another way. Yes, excellent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Okay, what other, what other expression? Now in singular. Yeah. And in call. Um, answer. You mean cargo pants? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you call that? That's the other expression, right? Yeah, in singular, what do you call that? Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes, excellent. Now, all right, guys, so look at the look at the exercise B and complete the conversations with expressions, okay? With expressions like this, okay? With expressions like this. And, and look at here, for example, here we have uh, two objects in one person, okay? So, read the conversation and write one of the questions in each space, okay? Come on, let's go, everybody. Right, guys, any questions? It's okay. Okay, excellent. Diana says, yes, it's okay. It's okay. Any questions? It's 
okay? All right. Excellent. Yes. Let's get it started. Good, good. Excellent. Party number one, please. Come on. Uh, <laughs> what do you what do you call I see do you yeah, remember then. when yeah. everyone wore those shoes those shoes uh -huh. yes uh, what do you call those those uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes complete the question please Yes, Patty, complete the question, please. I have the ones with really thick soles. Okay. Okay, yes, Patty, thank you. I, I can hear you, okay? Check your microphone. Oh, yeah, platform shoes, okay? I had some, they hurt my feet, all right? Excellent, yes. Now, uh, come on, uh, Andrea, number two. Andrea, you are a... a and uh, Marquito, you are B. Come on. Okay. okay. Who was that? What she thinks we we she share in those love? Who said this? What do you call love? Oh, great love. And do you mean Bob Mary? Mm -hmm. Marley. Bob Marley. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, remember, these are dreadlocks, okay? The dreadlocks. These are dreadlocks, okay? All right, thank you. Now, uh, let's go. David, you are A, and Diana, you are B. Come on. Uh, I can hear you, David. I'm sorry. You have to connect the microphone. Yes. Yes, you're here. Your, micro, your microphone is open, David. No, I'm working. Okay, well, make sure, it's, make sure that it's working. And uh, Diana, can you please start? Okay. That's a really cool watch. You see that? What do you call it? An underwater watch. Yeah, a diving Continue. Watch. Yeah, a diving watch. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, excellent. So, as you, as you can see, here we have the phrases, okay? The phrases that, that we can use in order in order to practice when we, when we forget something, okay? Good. Okay, guys, now let's go to the next page. Okay, let's go to the next page, everybody. And this page it says, strategy, strategy plus you mean, okay? You mean, or do you mean? Okay, now, guys, can you can you find these words you mean and do you mean in the conversation? Okay, come on. Let's go back to the conversation, okay? And find the words. Give me the, the complete sentence. You mean or do you mean? David, if, you, if your microphone is not working, please write in the chat. Come on. You mean yeah, cargo pants? Oh, okay, excellent. You mean cargo pants? Excellent, very good. What else? 
Do you mean do you mean a goater? Do you mean a what? A goater? A goatee. Goatee. Yes, goatee. A goatee. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So do you mean a goatee? You mean cargo pants? Okay. Do you mean a goatee? Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So look at the straight plus. Go back to the next page, please. And it says, it says, what can you, you can say you mean or ask or ask, do you mean to check what someone is talking about or suggest a word or a name? For example, let's say that, that I that I forget that I forget something. Okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm talking about maybe an accessory, talking about clothes, okay, appearance, okay? And then and then I say, I don't know, maybe a reference, okay, of something. Okay, for example, those baggy pants, all right? Those baggy pants, and then you say, Oh, you mean cargo pants or do you mean cargo pants okay so you are suggesting a word or a name okay so in other words like you are you are helping the other person trying to keep the conversation going okay yes so look at the, the example here okay now and um, look at look at the look at the question here do you mean a goatee Okay, it says, do you mean a goatee or, oh, I know, you mean Max, okay, yes, you mean Max, all right, so, guys, let's use the expressions, okay, look at uh, the exercise, we have six, uh, six uh, phrases or six um, sentences, and we have to respond to that sentences saying, you mean, or, you mean or do you mean okay according to the expressions we are going to write the answer for example number one okay look at number one marcos come on can you read number one okay i'm going to buy a pair of those baggy pants with a lot of pockets you mean cargo pants exactly you mean you mean cargo pants okay so you can say you mean or you can say do you mean cargo pants okay like okay. In, like in a question form okay so okay come on guys look at the look at the sentences okay and write the expressions okay write the expressions if you have any questions let me know please okay so all of this vocabulary it's in the unit if you have a question go back go back to to lesson b because in lesson b we have vocabulary okay for example look at number two okay yes for example look eh? it says my brother has long hair and he wears it in a um what can you say there what can you suggest do you, do you mean carnal And he wears it in a what? I'm sorry, can you repeat please? I didn't hear you. Do you mean car rounds? Do you mean car rounds? Uh, okay, uh, but remember um, that in car rounds, uh, in car rounds, you can, you can use a... Uh, um, you mean Bob Marley. <laughs> that's that's like Bob Marley, right? But for example, when when for example, guys, when you don't want to have your hair here in front of you, do you do what at the back? What do you do at the back with your hair? You mean a ponytail? A ponytail. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Do you mean a ponytail? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So come on. Uh, go ahead and 
Okay, continue. Okay, continue and write your answer. Okay, I will check that in a moment. Come on. All right, guys. So I guess you finished. Diana, come on. Number three. Uh, wait, wait. Let me open your microphones. Come on, Diana, number three. Okay, number three. Yes. My friend has these cute little spots on her nose. You mean frivolous? Okay, yes. Freckles. 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 Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Marcos, come on, number, uh, number four. Uh, 
Okay. One number, teacher? Number four, please. Okay. When I was a kid, I wore those things on my teeth. Do you mean brace? Braces. Do you mean braces? Exactly. Very good. Yes. Come on. Eh, okay. Marquito. Number five, Marquito. Okay. What the, the word to describe a person with no with no hair? Do you mean bald? Exactly. Very good. Yes. And Andrea, okay. come on. Number six. Okay. What do you call twins when they look exactly alike? Do you mean identical twins? Exactly. Very good. Identical twins. Very good. Yes. All right, guys. Very good. Okay. Good use of you mean and do you mean. Okay. Excellent. So, guys, look. Now, let's go to the listening. All right, let's go to the listening, everybody. Listening and speaking celebrities, okay? Now, uh, let me ask you a, a question, guys, before we, we continue, okay? Look at the photos, okay? Look at the photos. Now, do you know any of these people that, uh, that are in the photo? Yes, I do. Yes, okay. Uh, which one? Which one do you do you know, uh, Marco? I know uh, Julia Roberts, uh, okay. Cameron, Cameron Diaz, Ginit uh -huh. uh, Paltrow, and Nicole Kidman. Okay. In, in what movies? What movies ha have you seen these celebrities? Um. Ginit uh, Paltrow. Uh, I, 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 I say her in the movie, uh, uh, Iron Man, uh, movie Iron Man. Oh yeah, that's Iron Man, exactly. Iron Man. That's that's uh, Iron Man's wife, right, or something? Yes. yes. Avenger. A movie Avengers. Avenger. Avengers. 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 Exactly. Yeah, Very good. Yes. All right. Come on, Patty. What about you, David? Do you know any of these people? Yes. Where have you seen these people? In what movie or do they sing or something? Come on. Diana, what do you think? Yes, Patty, come on. What the question? Uh, do you know any of these celebrities? What movies ha have, have you seen these people? Ah, Julia Roberts. Oh, pretty where? Woman. Oh, Pretty Woman? <laughs> okay. Hey, pretty yes. Woman. That's good. It's famous, yes. I know. And Cameron Diaz and Where? Blue Angels. <laughs> Blue Angels. Ah, okay. That's Cameron cool. That's Diaz. Cool. Ah, no, no son Los Angeles Azul. <laughs> Los Angeles Azul. <laughs> 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 what? Really? Blue Angels. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought I thought that, that they were singing they were singers like the Angeles <laughs> Azules. I was like, damn, I haven't seen this this lady before. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Very, very good. Thank yes. you. Now uh, okay. So guys, let's listen, okay? Listen to Jen and Liz talk about famous about photos of celebrities in a magazine. Okay? Now, but the question is this. Who are they talking about? Okay, so we got six uh, famous. Okay, how many you got? We have a uh, Julia Roberts. Okay, 
we have Penelope Cruz, Lu Lucy Louis, Cameron Diaz, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Nicole Kidman. Okay, so let's listen, everybody. Okay, who are they talking about? Remember, I'm going to repeat twice. Okay, here we go. Page 113. 3. Listening and speaking. Celebrities. A. Listen to Jan and Liz talk about photos of celebrities in a magazine. Who are they talking about? Number the pictures. 1. Look at this picture. Is she American or British? American, I think. She married a singer, I think. I love that look. You know, the high neck. Simple, but elegant. Yeah, and she's not even wearing any jewelry. No, she doesn't need it. She had brown hair last year. I know. I like it blonde, though. Two. Oh, wow. She's beautiful, with the long, dark brown hair. The one with her hair up? No, no. It's really long and straight. She's wearing it down. Oh, yeah. She has beautiful dark brown eyes. I really like her necklace and earrings. So simple. Yeah, she looks great. Three. Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah, she's really pretty. I'd love to have straight blonde hair like that. I know. It's kind of long here, but she often wears it short, too. Yeah, she does. She has pretty eyes. Yeah. Is that her natural eye color, or does she have colored contact lenses? I don't know. They're very blue. They're such a clear, bright blue. Yeah, and she has a great smile. Look how white her teeth are. Yeah. Look, she has pierced ears. Four. Now she's in some wonderful movies. Is she American? I don't think so. I think she's from Australia. I love her eyes. She looks straight at you, you know? It's like she's just looking right at you. Yeah, and they're so blue. Her hair is pretty long here. In some of her movies, it's short. Yeah, and it's kind of curly here, too. It looks nice. Yeah, sometimes her hair looks kind of red, but here it's really blonde. Five. She's another one with a great smile. Yeah, but her smile is really amazing. Oh, look. Her hair is almost the same color as her eyes. I like her hair like that. It's straight sometimes, but I like it like this. Really curly. Oh, yeah. Does she ever cut her hair and wear it short? I don't think so. Maybe once for a movie. Six. Who's this? Um, she's on TV. She was in a show about lawyers. Oh, yeah. But she's in movies, too. She was in some with Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Great hair. Is it black? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's black. It's very straight, anyway. Though it's a bit curly here. It's beautiful. And I love her earrings. They're so long and elegant. Yeah, they're amazing. All right, guys. Listen up again, please. Come on. Page 113. Three. Listening and speaking. Celebrities. A. Listen to Jan and Liz talk about photos of celebrities in a magazine. Who are they talking about? Number the pictures. 1. Look at this picture. Is she American or British? American, I think. She married a singer, I think. I love that look. You know, the high neck. 
Simple, but elegant. Yeah, and she's not even wearing any jewelry. No, she doesn't need it. She had brown hair last year. I know. I like it blonde, though. Two. Oh, wow. She's beautiful, with the long, dark brown hair. The one with her hair up? No, no. It's really long and straight. She's wearing it down. Oh, yeah. She has beautiful dark brown eyes. I really like her necklace and earrings. So simple. Yeah, she looks great. Three. Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah, she's really pretty. I'd love to have straight blonde hair like that. I know. It's kind of long here, but she often wears it short, too. Yeah, she does. She has pretty eyes. Yeah. Is that her natural eye color, or does she have colored contact lenses? I don't know. They're very blue. They're such a clear, bright blue. Yeah, and she has a great smile. Look how white her teeth are. Yeah. Look, she has pierced ears. Four. Now she's in some wonderful movies. Is she American? I don't think so. I think she's from Australia. I love her eyes. She looks straight at you, you know? It's like she's just looking right at you. Yeah, and they're so blue. Her hair is pretty long here. In some of her movies, it's short. Yeah, and it's kind of curly here, too. It looks nice. Yeah, sometimes her hair looks kind of red, but here it's really blonde. Five. She's another one with a great smile. Yeah, but her smile is really amazing. Oh, look. Her hair is almost the same color as her eyes. I like her hair like that. It's straight sometimes, but I like it like this. Really curly. Oh, yeah. Does she ever cut her hair and wear it short? I don't think so. Maybe once for a movie. Six. Who's this? Um, she's on TV. She was in a show about lawyers. Oh, yeah. But she's in movies, too. She was in some with Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Great hair. Is it black? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's black. It's very straight, anyway. Though it's a bit curly here. It's beautiful. And I love her earrings. They're so long and elegant. Yeah, they're amazing. All right, guys. Let's check, everybody. Okay. So, um... Okay, number one. Guys, uh, number one in the description. Uh, I see Gwyneth Patrol. Exactly, yes. Gwyneth Patrol, that's number one. Okay. Number two, guys. What about number two? Come on. I think Penelope Cruz. Uh, Penelope Cruz. Where is it? Oh, yes, excellent. Very good. That's number, number two. Okay. What about number three, guys? Come on. Are you seeing Nicole Kidman? Number three, Nicole Kidman. No. Um, no. She has really blonde hair. Yes. 
big smile. <laughs> and a big smile. Well, yes, there are um, two, with, two with a big smile. She's one of them. What is it? Cameron Diaz. It's Cameron Diaz. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Marcos, come on. What about? Oh, what about? That's number three. Marcos, what about number four? What do you have in number four? Yes, Marcos, what do you have in number four? I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, the microphone is open, but okay, check. Uh, number four, Nicole Kidman. Yes, exactly. That's number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Diana, what do you have in number five? Um, Julia Roberts. Number five, Julia Roberts. Excellent. Very good. And number six, well, it's Lucy Louie. Okay. Excellent, guys. Very good. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, yes, your microphone is open, Marcos. Okay. Yes. So check, please, in your computer. Okay. Good. Guys, now for this last activity, okay, I need you to thank all of you. Okay. All of you think about one celebrity. Okay. Think about one celebrity. And I need you to. Uh, I need you to think about some information, okay? Yes. So, uh, for example, make a uh, think about some information about about this person, and then you are going to share share the information, and we are going to guess, okay? Using the expression "you mean" or "do you mean." For example, mm -hmm. look, at, look at this phrase here. Look at the conversation in letter B, okay? So. Eh, eh, Patty, come on, you are A. Mm, I really like that movie director from Ta Taipei. Mm -hmm. His movie are very different. Oh, do you mean Ang Lee? Yeah, I love his films. Okay, so, so something like this. Okay, you are going to say some information about the actor and we are going to guess. Okay, all right, so we're, we're going to use do you mean or you mean, okay? Yes, now, look at this, everybody. Um, uh, Patty, come on. Um, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to give you a, 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 an example, okay? okay. Uh, I like, uh, I really like uh, I really like TV shows. There's a lot of noise here. Okay. Now, um, for example, look. Okay, I'm going to talk about an actor. Okay. For example, uh, uh, um, I like this actor. He's from Hong Kong. Uh, he practices uh, martial arts and his movies are very funny. Uh, uh, Jackie Chan. <laughs> He's uh, Jackie Chan. Do you mean Jackie Chan? Do you mean do you Jackie mean? Chan? <laughs> oh, and, then, and then you can you can give me extra information. For example, you you mean Jackie Chan? Oh, I like the movie Shanghai Kid. For example, okay. Ah uh, yes. yes. Right? So something like this, okay? Is now, an Patty, actor. Yes, exactly. Now, Patty, think about one actor and talk to David, okay? Uh, okay. Come on. Um, I really like that movie 
Um, he, he's actor, David. Okay. And okay. he's a TV show. He has TV show, Mexican. Mexican. And a Mexican, yes. And and TV show name is Stuffed Family. Principal. Oh. Yes. It's difficult. No, it's easy. And uh, he's <laughs> actor Mexican. He's famous. Another place. Is, is he Any, a, anywhere. Is he a comedian? Eh? Uh, are the movies funny? Are the movies funny? Yes, are the movies funny? And, and, and is actor a stupid family? And, okay, okay, yeah. And car is stupid. And, uh, and mean, you mean in Spanish the familia peluche? Yes. Oh, Do you mean funny. Eugenio Derbez? Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know about the so yes, yeah, the family. Okay, familia It's so peluche. funny. It's oh. easy, easy. <laughs> that's good. That's good. It's so family. I like that. Yes, I like that. Okay, now come on, David. Talk to talk to Diana. Give me one. Come on. Um. Uh, wait, 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 Diana, connect your microphones, please. Teacher, my microphone already working. Ah, you're okay. Excellent. Well, talk to talk to uh, talk to Marcos, please. Okay, talk to Marcos. Come on, because Diana's microphone is not open here in my settings. Okay. She's an actress who was working. Uh, on the streets, she is uh, American. Give more information if necessary, please, Amy. On the future? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's, um, he's, she's American. She was working on the streets. Yes. The the the, the team film was Pretty Woman. Uh, do you mean uh, Julia Roberts? Yes, she is. Okay. okay. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good. Okay. All right. Look, guys. Uh, look, we're gonna we're gonna stop here because time is over. Okay, time is over. We're gonna continue tomorrow. Okay. Uh, uh, look, but be, before we go, um, Andrea, what what did we practice today? Come on. Uh, you mean and do you mean? Okay. Yes. The expressions mean and do you mean? And also, we practice other expressions. For example, others. Uh, what do you mean? What do you call them? Exactly. What do you call them? Okay. What What are the other the other expressions? What do you call them? What else? Well, you call that exactly. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. When, when, when you talk about a person, what's the phrase? Uh, 
What? When you talk about a person, when, when you don't know the name, what do you say? What's his name? Exactly. What's his or her name? Her okay. name. Exactly. All right? So, all right, guys. Look, uh, we're going we're gonna to stop here. Okay? We're going to stop here. I'm going to see you uh, on Monday. Okay? Remember that, that uh, it was only Monday. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday this week, okay? And we're going to go back next Monday uh, at the same time, okay? At the same time, yes? Okay. Uh, but for homework, guys, for homework, you are going to do lesson C in your workbook, okay? So, lesson C is uh, look at the next page. It's page. 86, 86, 97, and 87, okay, 86 and 87, all right, so, all right guys, well, I will see you guys next week, okay, have a nice, have a nice weekend everybody, okay, and I will okay. see you on Monday. All right, take care. Patty, Marcos, and David, Ayato, take care. Bye, bye. See you, everybody. See you, Mr. See you Monday. See you, Diana. Monday. Yes, yeah, see you Monday. Take care. See you Monday, see you Monday. everybody. Bye, bye. <laughs> see you. Bye. <laughs>